operators in Java. So first we have the assignment, then arithmetic, increment and decrement, relational operator, and logical operators. First is the assignment operator. So assignment statement stores a new value in a variable replacing the previously stored value. So the left hand side of an assignment statement consists of a variable while the right hand side in an expression that has a value. So the value is stored in the variable overwriting its previous content. So assignment operator using equal sign is used to overwrite the previous value or used to store a new value in a variable. But there is a distinction or there is a difference between a variable declaration and a assignment statement. So we have here, so this one is a variable declaration. So in transfer pack is equal to six. So we initialize that the value of transfer pack is equal to six. So this one is a variable declaration. Well, this one is an assignment statement. So from value then transfer pack is equal to 6. In this line, we change the value of transfer pack into 8. So we assign a new value. So the assignment operator equal does not denote mathematical equality. So I already mentioned this one earlier. So for example, we have here using assignment statement. So int w is equal to Two. So, initial value of our variable w is 2. In i is equal to the w. So, the value of i is the value of w. So, what is the value of w? 2. So, therefore, i is equal to 2. G, j, and k, wala yung naka initialize na value sa ila. So on the next line, so we have here, so for this line, so ato is simulating ilang value. So int i is equal to w. So the value of i is equal to w. So w is 2. So therefore i is 2. j, wala siya value. Same thing also with k. On the next line, j is equal to 3. So ang value ng j nag-assign ng 3. So, for this line, ang value ng i is still 2, while j is 3. In k, wala kayo na-assign sa iya na value. Then, on the third line, we have k is equal to i plus j. So, the value of k is equal to the total of i and j. So, i na 2 is 2, j is 3. So, therefore, 5. So, ang k na 2 kuman is 5. So, for the last line, ang k kuno is equal to i. So, i is 2 plus k. So, pilang k, 5. So, for this line, ang value ng k is equal to 7. So, 2 plus 5. So, na-change ang value ng k from 5 na himo si dyan na 7. So, that is assignment na overwrite niya ang previous na value ng, vi ng variable by assigning a new value. Next operator is we have arithmetic operators. So these are operations in, in Java that are used in same manner in algebra. They are used with variables for performing arithmetic operations. So these are the arithmetic operations in Java. So we have the addition, subtraction, multiplication, we have the division, and we have the modulus. So, modulus simply returns the remainder. So, it return niya ang remainder. Like for example, we have here, given A is 15, then B is 6. So, pag i-plus, so that will return 21. Pag i-minus, 15 minus 6 is 9. Pag i-multiply, 15 times 6 is 90. Then, pag i-divide, a divided by B would return 2. So, on division, depende siya sa data type. Kung ang imang kagamit na data type, 
na mo hold sa value ng quotient is integer siya, so ang iyang i-return na value is whole number. But if double or float, so mo return siya na may decimal point. So kung double or float ini siya, so this could be 2 point something siya. Then for modulus, so pila yung remainder. So pag i-divide nimo ang 15 sa 6, pila may sobra. So dere 2 times 6, so that is 12. So, 12 minus 15, so that will be 3. So, naa siya remainder na 3. So, pag i-divide ni mo ang duha ka number, pila man ang iyang remainder. Pila may sobra. Amo na si modulus. So, just take note, modulus is an integer value. So, dili ma-apply ka ng satong calculator. Like, for example, when you say, 15 divided by 6. So, mula ka 0.5. So, dili na siya si 0.5 ang return ng modulus. Whole number siya. So, that is for modulus operator. So, we will use arithmetic operators in Java program. So, for example, mag kita. String arts. So first is we declare variable. Like for example, we create a program na mu add, mu divide, mu add, mu minus, mu multiply, divide, sa nan mu get nan modulus. So we declare kita. Like for example, integer data type. So in x is equal to, for example, to give an example, can A is 15 and b is 6. Kung mo return ba siya ng kana na value in a program. So, A is equal to 15 and B is equal to 6. So, in one line lang nato to declare ang atong variables. So, first natin mo on, just like sa atong flowchart, di ba? Initialization, after initialization, kuhao ng value, after pagkuha ng value, next is process. So, same thing also with program. Declare ng value, ng variable. Assign ng value. Uh, initialize ng value sa atong variable. Then, next is process. So, formula anay adser display. So, first, Kuha o na to ang sum. I-add na to ang duha ka numbers. So, pwede kita mag-declare another variable na mo-hold sa total ng duha ka numbers. Addition sa A o sa plus B. So, i-name na to ang variable as sum. So, derivative na to ilun na value ang total ni A sa na ni B. So, sa variable na sum. So, dili kita mag-initialize ng value ni sum. Okay? Ang iyang value is dependent man kung pili result sa pag-add kang A sa na kang B. So, again, dili necessary na naa siya value na ka-assign. Especially kung ang iyang value is dependent to the other values. So, kung ano itong sum? So, sum formula is equal to A plus P. So, naa na may sum, na-compute na siya, so, i-display na siya. So, system dot out dot print sum.
So the value is 21. What if, for example, in this line, a is equal to 10? So what will happen to our output? So will it be still 21? So ato i simulate ng atong program. So pag run sa program, mo ato siya sa main. So sa atong main, ang first statement na iyan nabasa is declaration. So ang a ko no is equal to 15. Ang b is equal to 6. Then int sum. Pag abot sa next na line, a is equal to 10. So ang value ko no ng a is equal to 10. So, therefore, ang katong A kaganina na 15, ma-override siya, na-replace siya na new na value in this statement sa ini na line sa ato program. So, ma mawala na tong 15, na-change siya into new value. So, therefore, ang output sa tong program dili is, sum is equal to A, so, kailang A, 10 na, dili na siya kung 15. Plus B, B is 6, so, therefore, the output is 16. So, sum is equal to 16. So, mo display siya 16 na result. That one. So, na-replace na siya kaya nag-assign mo kita new na value sa atong variable A. So, again, balik kita. So, we will stick with the 15 na value ng A. So, naan niya itong sum next na uh, next is Difference, mag-subtract ka. So, ikaw man na to, D. So, pwede siya diri. Ibutan na to after sending system that out that print. Pwede sub, itibo na to ang tanan formulas. Then, a reserve pa kita mag-display. So, kung diri, so we have D is equal to A minus B. Then, i-display na to ang difference after sa pag-display ng sum. So, i-copy na lang natin yun. So, tangan, for example, na to. The sum. For example, mo-display siya. The sum of A and B. The sum of A. So, pila man ang A is equal to gamito na to ang variable plus A. Plus and, para mo display siya, the sum of A, which is equal to 15, and B, which is equal to 6, is 21. And, B, equal to, kung katinate, B na variable, plus, display siya, is, so space. Comment ano natin ini. Oh, error. So, sabi yung error. So, the sum of A and B expected. Ah, kulangan siya ng concatenation. Wala makongcatenate ang variable na sum. So, the output, the sum of A. So, nidisplay siya sa and everything inside the double quote, i-display niya. So, the sum of A equal. Then, concatenate plus A. So, i-concatenate niya si A bilang A, 15. So, display niya 15. And, so, kaya wala may space diri. Tanap siya ng space. So, space dapat ini. And, B. So, naanap po siya sa double quote. So, i-display niya ini. Space and B equal space. Concatenate value ng B, kung ano yung value ng B, which is 6, so display siya 6. Then, kung katinate ang word na is, so space, is, then space, then sum, pinang sum, A plus B, that is 21, so display siya 21. So, next, i-display na to is ang difference. So, the difference between difference of A and B is, so, on sa na variable to display, diff. 
Itong sum gihapon ato ibutang din na variable, ang sum gihapon na value ang iyang power, which is the 21. So, be careful on sa na variable ang inyong i-display. Next, ato siya i-multiply, so mag-add kita another variable. So, comma, na to product. So, product. Then, ang quotient, i-divide, quo. Then, ang modulus, mode. So, kana siya. So, pwede na to again, itibo ang tanan formula. Then, itibo sa ang tanan display. Or, pwede ra formula, display, system that out that print, then formula na sub, then display na sub. So, product is equal to A times P. Then, O is equal to A divided by P. Modulus or mode is equal to A modulus percent sign P. So, kana siya. So, ato siya i-display. The product. So, i-copy na lang na ito. So, the product of A, the quotient. Quotient of A and B is then the remainder of A and B is mode. So we have here. So same on your output to sa atong example. We have 21, 9. This one, why 9? Ay, so 9 siya kay pareha ang atong tag display. This should be product. So 21, 9, and 90. So katong kaganina ni display siya 9 instead of 90. That is an example of logical error. So correct ang atong program ni run si Ja, pero it produces a wrong output. So logical error si Ja or na wrong kita when in terms of the atong pag code so this is a program using arithmetic operators so another thing is question lang ang sequence ba ng atong arithmetic operators today pwede magkabaylo-baylo so, pwede lang siya i-jagi hapon. Ang atong system that outlet print the rate, so pwede hapon siya magkabaylo-baylo. But then, kung sino yung first na statement na system that outlet print, amoy una na i-display. Same thing also the rate. Kung sino yung first, like for example, si Deep, the rate si Ja, so si Ja unahon pagbasa sa imong program. Unahon niya pagkuha ang Deep na value kaysa sa sum na value. Pero pag display dere, ang una na tutag display is sum. So ang output niya is still sum ang mo display before kang diff. Although sa atong formula, naguna ang pagcompute kang diff. Then another error is this one, na ay common error na ma encounter. Like for example, nag display na kau, but then your formula down ini for example this one so ang error ano niya variable sum might not have been initialized so wala niya ma-read ang value ng imong sum wala yung value si sum pero imo siya tag display so wala yung na-initialize na value ni sum so that is the error pag compile sa program so pag read ni ja ja o is sum so si sum dari wala siya yung value hmm so, dili po zero ang iyang value. So, null ang iyang value. So, when we say null, empty. So, zero. Kung wala tag zero, mag-assign kita zero diri. Pasabot anak niya, ang value ng sum is zero. So, zero is a value. Pero kung wala siya yung value diri na na-initialize, so, automatic ang value ng sum is null. So, empty value si Ja. So, pag-grip ni Ja, 
Nag-read na niya tanan. Pag-abot niya diri, this time that out that print sum. So, i-display ko nun niya ang value ng sum. Walay value si sum. Empty ang sum. So, that is why ni occur ang error. So, ang atong computation na asya diri. Na itabo sa ubos. Or, for example, wala na siya na formula. So, nagbutang kang zero din ha. So, mo display siya, value ng sum is 0. That one. So, for more example of programs using arithmetic operators, so kindly read your lesson. So, there are examples there. So, pwede ito ninyo itry pagparad. The next operator is we have the increment and decrement operator. So increment operator, the use of double plus sign or the plus plus. Decrement operator is minus minus. What does it mean? Increment means adding 1 to the value. Decrement is mag minus kau ng 1 sa imo value. Or increments plus plus is increments the value by 1. Decrement is a minus nimo ang value by 1. So there are ty two types of increment and decrement. That is pre increment and post increment or prefix and post Prefix. Unsa may lang difference. Prefix is ang pag-add mo ng 1, automatic siya ma-add sa variable. Postfix, ma-add ang iyong value sa 1 on the next line na. So in terms, for example, of expression, so this one, this one is postfix, this one is prefix. So, x plus 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 x. So, we have your example. Let us say this one. So the variable x is equal to 8. So, kung x plus plus siya. So, in this line, ang value ng e mong x is, is still 8 na siya. Then, kung mulang kita plus plus x automatic sa inina line ang value ng inyong x mahimo siya 9 so mo na bali ang inang difference ng increment na pre increment or prefix sa nan post increment or post fix na increment kung decrement sa Kung 8 si dya, ang x, so for example, x minus minus, sa so in line, ang imong 8, ang imong x rather, is still 8 pa siya. Dili pa siya mamainusan. But if we will use prefix or pre-decrement, so sa in line, automatic mo minus siya ng 1 kang x. So that is why si x may mo siya 7. So, for example, in a program, It, it a new program sample in uh, increment deck So let's declare a variable like for example int x is equal to 8. So x is equal to 9. Or let's say x is equal to 10, 10. So in this line, we declare the variable x initialized to 8. So an emu x is equal to 8 said in the line. Pag about sa next na statement, so ang atong x is equal to 10. So the value now of x 
na replace siya from 8 na yung siyang 10. So, x now is equal to 10. So, wala na bali ni siya. 10 na ang current value ng atong x. So, we will add increment and decrement. So, for example, x plus plus. Okay, ano na to? So, x minus minus. So, system dot out to free x. System dot out to free x. So we will simulate this program using the increment and uh, using the increment and decrement. So for example, we have this program. Class arithmetic. Uh, so increment tick. Okay, compile. So, no error. So we have here this program uh, applying increment and decrement to see their difference. So like I said, kanina ang um, pre increment sumuad so siya one automatic. Post increment so on iyang add na one is mo apply na siya pag move na ang statement on the next line or move na siya on the next line same thing with decrement so in this line again the current value of our x is equal to 10 so next line is we have x plus plus so pila may value ng x dere so for this line the value of x is 10 mam plus plus man so nag add siya 1 so ang iyang 1 na i add Ma mo take effect na siya on the next line. So, mumu ang atong execution on the next line. So, pag about the ray, katong 1 ka ganina, i-add to niya the ray command. So, pila ng x. So, 10 plus 1. So, sa in the line, mahimo siya 11. So, nakasugat siya. Ang imong x is 11. Minus, minus. So, again, post decrement ni hapon siya. So, for this line, 11 pa siya. Supposedly, ma-minusan siya 1, di ba? Kaya decrement man. So, ang iyang minus na 1 is mo take effect na po na siya on the next line. So, ang minus na 1, dari, 11. Pag about the ray, system that out that print x. So, ang imong x, 11. Na kaya naam siya minus na 1, dari. So, sa ini na line, may himo si dyan na 10. So, ang first output sa itong program is 10. So, mo display siya 10. So, this one, dili ni siya kung output ha. Kani siya dili, dili ni output. Ato ra tag simulate kung unsay current value ng variable na x. Ang output sa mong program, kato lang na ay system.out.pay. So, the first output sa itong program is value na 10. Next line is ininasap. System.out.print. So, kaya namin system.out.print. So, pasabot, display ni Ja. So, i-display ko nun ni Ja ang x. x++. Plus plus. So, this one is still uh, post, post decrement, uh, post increment rather. So, mag-add kita guan. So, ang atong x is 10. So, pag-abot sa inyong line, is still 10 ragihapon ang atong x. So, ang iyang 1 na i-add on the next line na po siya ma-add. Kay post man siya. So, proceed siya on the next line. So, pila ang atong x. So, may add mo na 1. So, ang atong x is 11 na. So, 11 ang x. Kaya nag-add mo kita 1 dere. So, 11 na siya sa inyong na line. So, in this line, ang atong x nag-pre-decrement. So, minus, meaning to say, nag-minus ng 1 kang x. Nakai-pray man siya, so therefore, automatic siya 
sa inyong line mo minus. So, pila nga itong x? Ganyan na 11. So, minus 1. So, for this line, ang atong x is 10. So, 11 minus 1. So, na minusan siya 1 automatic. So, 10 ang atong x. Next is we have system that out that print x minus minus. So, post decrement na po siya. So, pilang x, 10. So, mag minus kung siya 1. So, ang iyang 1, mag minus na siya. Um, niya na. So, 10, giha po ng x3. So, pag minus ng 1 niya, so, mahimo siya 9 on the next line. So, tapos na yung statement, di display siya 10. Next, ni Aris siya sa inyong line. Pilang atong x, 9. Okay, na, na ay minus na 1 to the rina. So, 9 ang x. Then, pag about the rina line, laong siya plus plus x. So, pre-increment. So, therefore, automatic si Jamu add ng 1. Pilang x, 9. Plus 1, mahi mo si Jam, 10. So, ang output sa itong program, katurang na ay system that out that print. So, 10, 10, 10, 10. So, upat si Jam ka, 10. So, dyan ang si Jam. So, tapad lang siya kay wala may atong LN. So, LN. LN. So, kana. Again, these values na naka-comment for the purpose of simulation or tracing the value of the variable x. Ang ma-display ra na output katurang na ay system that out that print. So if there are four system that out that prints in your program, so meaning to say upat sub ang iyang i-display na output. So 1 2 3 4, so that is why we have 1 2 3 4. So for example, mag-add kita another value. So for example, this one. So again, the value of x here is 10. Then we proceed to the next statement. So, they have to add the statement. So, system that out that print minus minus x. So, pre-decrement. So, since pre-decrement na siya, so the value of our x is 10. Automatic siya mo minus ng 1 sa kanak na line. So, in this statement, ang atong x is 9. The next procedure sa next na statement, system that out that print x. Pilang x so, i-display lang nila ang x. Walay increment sa na-decrement kag x. So, therefore, this is 9. Then, here, system that out that print ln x plus x. So, ang plus diri is not used for concatenation. May gamit ini niya, addition. Because x is a number which is 9 plus x, so which is also 9. So, both are numbers. So, nakasugat siya plus. So, ang plus three is not concatenation. Dili niya isong pi. Instead, muna yung buhaton, iya i-add. So, 9 plus 9. So, therefore, ang output sa inyong statement is 18. So, ang atong program will display 1, 10, 10, 10, 10, 9, 9, 18. So, 10, 10, 10, 10, 9, 9, 18. So, that is for arithmetic operations. Arithmetic, no, they increment and decrement operators. So, next operator is we have the relational operator. So, these relational operators or comparison operators are used for conditional statements. So, magamit ni nato siya sa atong next na mga topics. So, these are the relational or arithmetic or or. Comparison operator. So, ang result ng relational or comparison operator is Boolean value, true or false. And next arithmetic value jud ang, ang iyang output is in numbers. But for relational operators, Boolean value ang iyang output. So, either true or false. So, these are the relational operators. We have the double equal sign. So, double equal sign 
meaning is equal to. So, use for comparison. Lahi ra ang single equal sa nag double equal. May nakalain sila. Maranta, x is equal to 8. x is equal sa so, 8 is equal to 8. May pasabot ano niya. Or, ang x is equal to 8. Pasabot ini, ang value ng x is 8. Kung single equal sign. Kung double equal sign, it simply means, ang 8 ba equal ba siya kang 8? So, ang resulta niya, ang 8 ba equal sa 8? So, that is true. So, that's their difference. Single equal sign is here for assignment. Double equal sign is used for comparison. I-compare niya ang duha ka value. Not equal. So, they are not equal. Greater than. Greater than or equal. Less than. Then, less than or equal. So, these are relational operator. Next, is, next the last one is logical operator. So, these operators are used to evaluate an expression and depending on the operator use, a particular output is obtained. So, logical operator also produce a boolean value. So, true or false again upon an output for logical operator. So, there are three types of logical operators. You have the AND, OR, AND, NOT. So, for programming, ang symbol ninja is for AND, double ampersand, for OR, double, double bar, for NOT is exclamation. So, sa may gamit ano niya? Ang logical operators, gamitun siya pag mag-combine na kao ng conditions. Especially, kanang complicated conditions na nanaan ay mga for example, two conditions like for example, this one. Kani siya na condition, i-combine ni mo sa ini na conditions. So, magamit ka na niyang mga logical operators. So, ang end, mo return si Jag true if both conditions are true. If one of these conditions is false, automatic false ang yung result. For or, mo return si Jag true if one or both of the conditions are true. So, kung both true si Jag, true ang yung result. If one of the conditions is true, true gaya pa lang yung result sa or. If both are false, so automatic false ang iyang result. Ang not, mulligate ra siya. If true si Jag, mahim o siyag false. If false si Jag, mahim o siyag true. So example, we have here, i-evaluate na to ang conditions. So, given the variable day is equal to Monday, ang age is equal to 16. Day is Monday. So, pila ang day? Monday. Ang Monday ba equal sa Monday? So, that's the question. Kaya double equal sign man siya. So, pag maghimo ka ng condition, magamit ka ng relational operators. So, this one is an example this one. This is an example of condition. Maragong mo lang ka, is today Monday? Today is Monday. Asya. If today is Monday, so what will you do? So those are condition. If today is raining, if it is a rain, rain, rainy day, so sa may imong himoon? So those are condition. Kung sa, sa in mathematical expression form si Ja, so yung nga siya. So, day is equal to Monday. So, unsay value ng day? So, this one. Unsay value ng day na variable? Monday. So, Monday in siya. Ang Monday ba equal sa Monday? So, kay parihaman, Monday is equal to Monday. True na equal si Ja. So, ang iyong result is true. Na amay not dere. So, not true. So, ang true in not ni mo o may opposite ng true. So, ang iyong output mahim o si Jag, false. So, that is for not. Kung end si ja, like for example, we have here end operator. 
So, duhan na siya ka kondisyon pag mong gamit kag end. So, jay at of course kondisyon ng age ko niya is not equal to 12. Ang kaduhan niya na kondisyon, ang age is greater than 18. So, ang kanina duha ka ka kondisyon, tag-combine niya. So, pag-combine, it's either mo gamit ka ng end or mo gamit ka ng or. So, for example, kung end ang ganitong, so, ang age ba not equal to 12? So, pilang age, 16. Ang 16 ba dili equal sa 12? True. So, kanina, expression ni result siya sa true. Next is, ang next na condition na po ng atong i-simulate. So, ang age ba, which is pilang value ng age, 16. Ang 16 ba greater than sa 18? Ang 16 ba mas dako sa 18? False. So, ang iyang output is false. True and false sa end, pag isagal sa statement is false, automatic false na siya. So, ang output ng ini na expression is false. Next is or. So, same condition sila. So, ang age is equal to 12, that is not equal to 12, is true. Ang age greater than 18, ang 16 ba mas dako sa 18, that is false. True or false, so ang result niya is true. Again, sa or, if one of the statements is true, automatic true ang iya result. So that is for not, and, and or. So we have here example ng truth table. Kung ang E is equal to true, pag inap ni mo siya, mahimu siya false. Kung false siya, mahimu siya true. If ang E is false and B is false, pag end siya, false and false. So ang iyang output is false. Kung sa or siya, false and false or false. So false or false. So, ang iyang result is false. Kaya purus man sila false. Next, false o true. Ang A is false and B is true. Sa end siya, false and true. False and true. So, both are both. One of them is false man. So, automatic false siya. Pag about sa or, false or true. So, one of them is true. So, therefore, true ang iyang output. True, false. Sa and, true and false. So, false siya. Sa or, true or false. So, true. Mas tagali kung and, if na ay false, automatic na na siya false. Sa or, if na ay true, automatic siya true. True and true. So, ang A is true, ang B is true. So, pag end siya, of course, true. Kay both true man. Sa or, so both true. So, true put ang iyang result. So, this is the output sa atong truth table using not end and or. So, this is for our lesson for variables, data type, and operators. So, please kindly look up on your lessons. So, there are examples there. So, pwede ito din nyo itry pagpa-run. So, thank you everyone.